Hey guys, it's Tommy. Looks pretty good. I just got done shaving. I don't know if you can see. Got a bit of a cut right here. I got a bunch of pickups in recently. I thought I'd show you guys some of them. I'm pretty much a noob. Anyways, let's get into let's get into like uh, the actual pickups. I'm just gonna show you some of the pieces. So, um, the first pi the first couple pickups I'm just gonna go through real quick. I just got a couple of uh, faded old crew necks, um, kind of all from different eras. Basically, like this first red crew neck. I had a dream where uh, Joe Rogan died. It's not funny that he died, but it's funny that I had a dream about Joe Rogan. Um, he's like my best friend, and I was on his podcast, and he died. It's f it was crazy, like. Anyways, the red crew neck's got a lot of great character. As you can see on the sleeves, it's got some paint and some other things. Maybe tire marks. I think someone actually might have gotten run over in this. It gives a lot of character, though, you know? Kind of a backstory to the piece. Um, but yeah, the sleeves are cropped. Kind of annoying. Shows a bit of wrist cleavage. Low-key feel exposed wearing this one. Uh, something that I kind of came across is like... I'll show this on the on body later in the video is as you're wearing these pieces um if they have a bit of a short sleeve what you can actually do um something i've noticed especially some kind of taller is you can pull the sleeves up it's kind of how they used to wear them sometimes don't quote me on that but it's just yeah basically right here we got a couple of uh, faded garms that's the red crew neck so next piece i got here is this old it's it's a hoodie from the 40s it's got like a waffle thermal liner it's really nice um i actually got it from the homeless guy in the corner of the street he gave it to me for my birthday <laughs> i psyched on that uh, for what i know yeah it's from the 40s it's got a waffle thermal liner so it's like crazy warm but it's also got like a really really nice cropped and wide fit very re uh, very easy reminiscent even though it was created like 40 years before kanye was even born it's insanely comfortable and cozy the only thing is i wish i knew how to get the poop stains off the front but yeah on to the next piece right here we get the uh this old like i think it's from the 70s to the 80s it's like a faded it's like a nice nice lavender color just crazy colors as you can see out here especially when i lay on the sun you can really see the fading on it it's like cotton candy honestly but it, it fits kind of small but if it's snug and tight um kind of like around the waist area or kind of like around my torso area sleeves aren't too bad especially when it's zipped up doesn't look that bad either but it's it's a great layering piece um but also oh my gosh i'm gonna give, tell you guys give you some knowledge right here but basically don't don't be paying too much for like old faded garments because the thing is you can go out and you can find your own or honestly i might make a video in the future but it would be like a it would take months to make this video but um you basically you can experiment and try to get your own sun fades um basically what you got to do is you got to like wet the piece make sure it's wet and then literally leave it on your roof or somewhere that it gets sun all day for months and then there you go you got the piece and you didn't have to pay for it because like you shouldn't, I mean, kind of a little low-key hypocritical comment here, but you don't have to pay hundreds of dollars for these pieces, and a lot of people don't see, like, uh, the point in doing it, especially when it's not a new piece, actually use, like, crazy um, fabrics and stuff, because most of this stuff's just, like, cotton or, like, polyester blends. It's not that crazy, especially when they're older, it's just, like, 100% cotton. We had these old crazy, like, mustard-colored cargos that I got from Japan. Um, I've never been to Japan, but I bought them from Japan. I don't know what the brand is. It's called uh, World Jeans International, but freaking great repairs on these, great distressing. They're really wide. The waist is great too. Fits me perfect, 29 waist. But the only thing is like, as you can see on, I'll get on an on body later. They fit a little weird though. They're very hard to style. They just don't go with a lot, but I'll, but they look great. I really love the color on them. Dude, I've got so many pickups. I'm just gonna keep going. I got this old varsity jacket, Evan on the back. If anyone's named Evan. Um, I might sell this, I don't know, it's really big, it kind of fits like triple XL, I honestly don't know. It's a great fit, it's really wide, it's kind of like uh, the Virginia Creeper one, in a way. I'm not sure the year on it, big old varsity jacket, it says gel on the front, Eddie on the, Evan on the back. I'm just gonna throw out some other pieces that I don't need to get too much into. Here's another old thing I got from Japan, it's like a faded old worker's jacket. I put my grandpa's old political button on it too, because that was cool. Here's this faded blue hoodie I got, also super sweet. But yeah, low-key I've been like revamping my closet, selling a lot of like my branded stuff, selling a lot of stuff and just kind of like getting old pieces that I know I can style well and yeah, whatever. This has been going for way too long. I don't know how long this is going to go for. I'm talking really fast as well, but 
yeah, that's it for those pickups. Um, yeah. You know, all you probably saw is a lot of poop stained clothes, a lot of faded clothes. But yeah, let's get into the next part of the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do like this uh, swipe thing. I forgot to show you guys. Basically, this is the recording fit. Let me know what you think. So now I'm gonna, now we're gonna go to the next phase of the video. The next day. One Travi Patty. I'm sorry? One Travi Patty. Anything else? Spicy nuggies. But could I get a Diet Coke instead? Yeah, I'm not trying to get fat or anything. <laughs> yeah, can I get a whole long? No bacon. Are you ready? Alright, yo, cheers. Wait, let me cheers. Let me this what do you have to say? Yeah, it's not like them. Some goose. I'll give it like a seven or eight. Mm, it's crunchy, definitely. And the bread, really smooth too. Quarter pounders are the only thing made fresh here, so. I worked at McDonald's. Mm. Oh. Not bad. I'd rate it an eight. What would you say it's on your like to cop? Like what like what's on your to cop? Mm, to cop list. Like, what are you on the look for right now? On the look for material happiness, artificial validity. Mm, that's fine. I don't know who makes that, but that's fine. Yeah, it's a. Uh, you need a rep maker for that one to one. We got hot dogs. Nah, we just got Johns. <laughs> okay, this guy's on crack. You're on crack. Getting it started, times Jake. Mm -hmm. Yo, what do you guys say about it? Pretty good inventory so far. That's only going up from here, all right? This, this is us. This is where we're gonna be in the future. So Leah, how'd you rate the, the sash? Mm. Yo, we get back in the car, Leo's just chowing down on the McDonald's from five hours ago. They still busting though. <laughs> Do you hear that? He said they still Alright, yo guys, I'm back. And in this part of the video, I'm actually just gonna go over some of like my monthly favorites, things I've been liking, doing, um, enjoying that maybe you guys will enjoy as well. But yeah, basically, this month I've been listening to a lot of new music. I've been getting a lot of new music. Um, but if I were to like break it down into a couple artists, be like Caro Caro Bonito. This is off the top of the head right here. This is like uh, off the top. Caro Caro Bonito, Phoebe Bridgers. So I'll link my Spotify so you guys can see what I've been listening to. Um, I might put up like a couple of my favorite songs from this month. I've been going a lot on, uh, I think it's r slash writing prompts. What they do is they have a lot of prompts for you to write about, like stories, cool things. Also, I'm really, uh, I might do like a Q&A video guys, so you guys can get to know more, more about me. But I do a lot of photography, analog photography too. So I feel like it'd be a cool thing to put in this video. Just like some of my favorite photos that I've taken, even though they're all trash. Like some of my favorite photos that I've come across this month that I'd like to 
show you guys, maybe give you some inspiration to any of my photographers out there. If not, you can skip this part, but it's not gonna be that long, so. So yeah, here's some of my photos. And here is some of my favorite photos other people have taken. That's just gonna absolutely crush my photos, but here you guys go. Basically, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. Like, I really, really appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, I'm not much of like a YouTuber guy. I've always watched YouTube, but I'm glad that a lot of you guys wanted me to do some more videos. So I do some videos so I can like show you guys my clothes. I don't know how interesting they are, but you guys let me know what you guys liked, what you guys didn't like. Please subscribe. Again, I appreciate all of you guys for watching, for liking the video, for sure. even just watching it, dude. Even if you watch it for a minute, even if you're not here right now. But yeah, appreciate you all. This video is probably gonna be like 20 minutes, but love you guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Don't know what it's gonna be, but yeah. And roll that, roll the outro. Subscribe to Tommy Pointer. <laughs>